Hi folks. If you're thinking about signing your kids up for one of our fall clubs, but you're not sure what they're all about or which one might be the best for you, I thought I'd put these, this series of videos together to explain a little bit about each club, how they're different, and then you could pick which one you think would be the best fit. Our fall clubs are going to run for 10 weeks from September 11th through November 13th. The Conductors Club is designed for kids ages 10 through 13, which is about 5th through 7th grade. And this club will meet on Mondays from 3 to 5, so kids can walk down after school. Each week, I'll try to get an idea of what games they're interested in playing, so I can have them set up ahead of time, so that when they get there, they can jump in and, and start playing some games. They don't have to have any prior knowledge of games. This is really an entry-level club that is designed for kids to socialize and make friends and really get introduced to gaming as a hobby. They'll learn critical thinking skills. They'll be able to practice some of the math skills that they learn, but they'll do it in a fun and inviting way. So here's an example of the type of game that we might play with the Conductors Club. This is a game called King of Tokyo, and this happens to be the Dark Edition, which adds a few cool elements to the game. But in this game, each person takes on the role of a, of a monster. This is a King Kong type monster and you have this Godzilla type guy. But essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to take over Tokyo. And there are two ways to win the game. Each player gets one of these trackers and throughout the game you can earn stars. And if you ever get to 20 stars, you win the game. But you also have hearts, which is your life points. And you can lose life points when people attack you. And if you ever get down to zero life points, you lose and you're out of the game. So to win the game, you can either get 20 stars or you can just knock everybody else out. And a lot of times that's, that's the way we play. We just like to beat each other up. So this is a game that has lots of confrontation. Uh, so you kind of want to know that going in. But the game is essentially like Yahtzee. What you do on your turn is you roll the dice and then depending on what you get allows you to do different things. If you get this paw, that allows you to attack somebody if you get the uh, lightning bolts, that gives you these little tokens that allow you to buy cards. And then the cards that you can buy, some of them give you long lasting effects that last throughout the game. And other ones just give you an immediate uh, benefit of some sort. But you can use your energy to buy cards that, that can really help you out and give you some advantages. In this game, if you roll three of the same number, you'll get a star. If you roll a one, three ones, you get a star, but you'll also get to move up on this track and earn special powers. If you rolled a two, you would get two stars, and then you'd also get to move up on the track. So essentially you get to roll the game, you roll the dice, keep whichever ones you like. So if I need to regenerate, cause maybe I've been hit a few times and I need to get some hearts back, maybe I'll keep that and I'll keep this energy. Then, just like Yahtzee, you get to re-roll. And then maybe I'm going to go for a whole bunch of energy and try to get one of these cards. And then you get to re-roll one more time, so three rolls. Now I have two hearts and three energy. This three doesn't really help me any because it's, it's out there by itself. But when you're on the outside of Tokyo, whoever the monster is on the inside of Tokyo, you're going to attack that person. If you're the person that's on the inside of Tokyo, you're going to attack everybody else that's on the outside of Tokyo. And so it's just a fun dice chucking game where you get to beat each other up a lot. And again, you either, you either get all the stars and win the game or you knock everybody else out to win the game. And so this is exactly the kind of game that we would introduce to the conductor. Uh, the conductor's club will be entry level, fun stuff, not too difficult have a good time and start to get an idea of what these modern board games are all about. And so depending on what your kid's interested in, we have a different club each day of the week that should fit their needs. They ought to be able to find something that would interest them and their friends. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at sidetracksbgc at gmail.com. If you want to sign up for a club, just go to our Kickstarter page and you'll see the Fall 2023 Club Reward Level. If you pledge at that $65 level, we'll reach out to you and we'll find out what club you want to sign up for. And look forward to seeing you in the fall. We're going to have a lot of fun. See ya.